Good afternoon, hello and welcome. Um, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models and this is the start of a new build, a build I'm quite excited about. You can see it down here, it's it's fairly large. Uh, it is the Extreme Off-Roader 4x4, which is Bluetooth controlled and we've got motors and things in it and it's all, yeah, it's a big kit and powerful and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't even need actually really fit on the bench, at least not with the brandy there, but we need that there for medicinal purposes. So hello and welcome. Uh, I'll have a quick look through the chat as ever because obviously this is a live stream. If you're not watching it live, then you missed it when it was actually live. But it was actually happening and being broadcast to the to the nation, inter internationally, to the world or beyond, to everybody. Anybody can watch it. Um, so uh, yes, uh, the raging modeler was in uh, the first person apart from me in the stream today. Uh, then Dad came along. Uh, then Dexterous Crafter. That's Nat. Uh, uh, raging modeler. Dad. Dexterous Crafter. Uh, Red Lynn, 08. Uh, then we had Skullfish, obviously, because we've got Skullfish, I've got to be able to press the button. Skullfish! So, welcome to you, Skullfish. I, again, not been a, been a while since you've made it onto a live stream, so welcome. Uh, then everybody's chatting amongst themselves, see if I see any other new names pop through there. Uh, James Chapman, Eric Graham, uh, Graham M. And that's everybody from there. Uh, yes. Uh, Dexter's Crafter just posted and said, Hi from Connor and Paige. Hello, Connor. Hello, Paige. It might be some counting, because it's Lego, so there's going to be multiples of bits. So there might be some counting going on soon. So keep an eye open for that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so, without further ado, I'm excited for this. I'm looking forward to this kit. I shall change round to the other camera. Um, as ever, I'll, I'll still be here in the little corner piece, so you get a nice view of the corner of my ear as I'm building this. Uh, as you can see now, it's the 11 plus 42099 number of the kit. Uh, batteries are not included, but they are now because I've put some in it. Uh, smart device required, but not included. I've got one to hand, but I don't think I'm gonna need that for at least this stream. I don't know how long it's gonna take, how many streams it's gonna take to actually do this kit. Uh, there are multiple bags in here, as you can imagine, because it's you know quite a big size box. So what I'll do, I'll hide behind it briefly while I'm sorting it out. Uh, we have the most important thing, the instruction manual. Uh, we have the next most important thing, the box of interesting stuff, which I shall show you momentarily. We've got some wheels. Look at the size of the wheels on it. They're massively huge, massive wheels. Look. It's really good. I don't think we need them yet. Uh, we've got bag number three, which we won't use yet. Bag number two, which I don't think we'll need yet. I have to get the wheels out because they're hiding other things. Probably another one in there somewhere. There it is, yep. Bag one. Pretty sure we'll need that one. Uh, there's another three. Another one, gonna need that. Another two, and a bag of uh, hubcaps. So let's get the three back in there. Let's get the wheels back in there. There we go. Uh, I shall put the electronic bit back in there as well. Actually, I'll show you what's in there first. If you haven't caught the, the last uh, live stream I did when I showed off some of this, let me put another light on. Um, right, let's get the bags out of the way briefly. Oh, I've got another two, don't need that one yet. Um, instruction manual there. Now, this is one of the new Technic Bluetooth enabled things, which comes with two extra large motors, apparently, and one large motor. So they obviously do a smaller one for smaller things. And the entire operating thing, which is powered by six uh, AA size batteries, which I fitted in there recently. Uh, it's got a single button on it, and it connects to an app on a smartphone. Uh, so, yes, I won't do anything with that quite yet. Uh, if you want to go back and watch my last uh, lockdown live stream, I did connect it to the phone and do a little bit of uh, experimenting with it, but not very much. So you might want to go and watch that. Uh, right, let's have a quick drink. Happy Christmas, everybody. I am quite enjoying this um, lunchtime glass of brandy. Uh, very kindly sent to me by Candy Graham from Wonder. Thank you very much, Jeff. Yeah. Um, it's not the sort of thing I'd not, I don't I don't drink a lot anyway at all, ever. 
Uh, I have an occasional brandy at very rare intervals. But at the moment, I seem to be having them while I'm sitting here doing this sort of stuff. Because it, it just feels communal and right, and you know, you're here and I'm here and everyone else. Um, and Raging Modeler says, I need someone to take this packet of Biscoff biscuits off me or I'll eat the lot. Well, I, you, you know, I, I always accept the tokens of food and food and drink, so <laughs> if you want to post them out. Uh, James Chapman uh, is uh, doing a, a video build as well. He's building Lego at the moment. He's got a new Lego kit that he's going to start building. And he's also doing some filming for his channel. So go along and find that. Uh, right, I've already scanned the little thing, so I've got it on my app phone thing. Let's have a quick look through. Now it's unusual that there's not any minifigures to build in this kit because it's not a minifigure type kit, it's an actual radio control thing. So yeah, um, it says how to put the batteries in, I figured that bit out, that was alright, that wasn't tricky. Uh, lots of stuff about caution and don't, don't use bits that aren't Lego approved and things. Uh, now I must admit I have been tempted um, I can't Chris my hand won't let go <laughs> waiting for a Lego bag explosion there may be one soon, you never know uh, Right, I've downloaded the Lego Technic Control Plus app so I don't need to do that that's showing, I don't know, if you don't know about that use it on the paper, that's fair enough that's pretty obvious, that's the same as always uh, right, here we go when we use bag 1, we'll end up with this after bag 2, we end up with that and after bag three, we end up with it completed. Uh, so it looks like we will need a couple of the motors for the, the first part of the build. So I will have to get that box back out. Indeed, it says you need the big one and a little one and the bag. So let me delve back into the box again. I shall pull out a motor and a smaller motor. So still in the box is the main control section and another large motor. So, uh, right, let's put those to there. We've got bag one, we've got two bag ones. So that's what we're aiming to make by the end of it. Uh, so I don't think there'll be any stickers yet until the end by the looks of it, because that's obviously, there's no stickers on the internal piece, because it's the internal piece. So I'll put that back in the box as well. It's there if we need it, but you know. Right, so let's get the motors out to the one side to give us a bit more room for the bits. Uh, let's get the bags open and spread out so we can see what we're doing. I'll, I'll open them as quietly as I can, but there is going to be some... Because you can't help that. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can get the big bag open. There's another small bag in there as well. Oh, two small bags in there. Right. Check. No extra pieces in there. Get rid of the box packet. Don't need that anymore. Right. So, I shall manoeuvre these over to there. Now, if you've watched me build any um, Lego beforehand, you'll be aware that I don't do the whole sorting into piles and things. I'm just experimenting. I've not seen a geared part like this before. This is obviously some sort of gearing so that goes quicker than the outside bit by turning that even a half a turn it's gone more than once round so some sort of gearing in there obviously for the wheels because there's two of those but we've got other gears and things being a technic kit most of it is going to be let's say gears and cogs and these these parts with holes in it so that's going to be good fun um, I haven't done many technic kits I've done lots of normal Lego kits, but the technique is something that I have not done lots of. Uh, right, so now I've got to try and get these parts out without tipping them everywhere. Uh, as I was saying, I don't do the sorting into piles of things. I, I won't go through and get all of these bits together because that bores me. And um, it's not good to watch either. It's quite, you know, dull. But what I do do, uh, he said do do, sorry, um, is when I've got the bags opened obviously I'll keep those sort of there I'll put these over this side so I've got a vague idea what sort of area I'll be looking for things in although I say parts will go everywhere and yeah spread out and stuff if I was building it in a 
a box, I'd just put my bits in a box and have a nice rummage around to find things, because that's the fun thing for me. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Right. Uh, the instruction menu, I think, will probably stay there. You can't see the bottom half of it, but you can see the top half, so you can sort of follow along with me. Uh, if you do want to actually follow along with me, if you get the LEGO Life app, and then you can scan that QR code there, I'll hold it still for you for a second. If you, if you pause it, then you can always get it back. Um, you can download the instruction manual and follow along and show me where I go wrong. <laughs> but uh, yes, there we go. Uh, all right, Dad couldn't find uh, James's YouTube channel because he's already subscribed to it. <laughs> uh, Shane's here, Shane Youngs. Good afternoon, Chris and everyone. Hope you're all okay. I'm fine, thank you. How, how's yourself and your family? All good? Uh, everyone subbed isn't subdued apparently, but yeah, we won't worry about that. Uh, yep, all right, that's that's that. Right, let's get on with it then. So the first instruction, as with all Lego kits, uh, they show you what you're going to be building, and they show you the parts you need for that stage. So we need one of those, and parts that I can't see immediately because there's more parts than I've got room for. It's one of those. There we go. One of those and two of the little black ones, which there are dozens. Because this being Technic, that's pretty much how things are connected together. Uh, so, you get the parts you need, and then you make it look like the picture by putting the parts together in that order. So we've just got that, that, and that. Oh, let's get that in there, and that in there. So we make that look like that. I know that's the one you can't see because it's down the bottom of the page, but... Uh, and Lego, everybody knows how to build Lego. Everyone's built some Lego, you know what you're doing. Uh, I'm just going to collect the parts. One, two, three, and four. And they go in the four of these. Uh, just checking to make sure there's no up and down on this. This is completely symmetrical, or it was before I started putting things into it. So it doesn't matter which way up they go. Uh, Mayhem says, is that Chris fella playing with Lego? Not playing yet. This is the building. This is the proper important building stuff. The playing comes later. And this kit is designed to be played with. It's not a shelf queen. It's not going to sit on the shelf and, you know, look pretty. It will look pretty while I'm driving it around. For reals. So, yes. Uh, right. On with the build. Two of those. Uh, one of those. Making sure you get the right lengths of things. And one more of the red ones, which was in here somewhere. So it's probably still around here somewhere. There you go. One of those. So into there, the square bit of the blue one goes in there. Onto the red, the square bit goes into there. And now it starts to matter which way up things go. That one goes on there, which will turn. And that one goes on there. Now these red bits are designed so they can be pushed further in. So I'm wondering if there's going to be something that fits in. I always do this. I, I think ahead instead of just going with what they tell me. I, I deliberately try and figure out the next step. Sometimes I get it right, and sometimes I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Most of the time, I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Right, I need four of these white bits, so are we ready? There's one. Two. Three. And... Four, yeah. I don't know. I, I know I just got up, but does Chris have his autofocus on? Uh, yes, I do. I do have the autofocus on because I'm working at different layers in this kit. So hopefully it will keep through and enable viewing to happen at different levels. Um, if it's a problem, let me know. I'll, I'll change it and adjust it and things. But uh, I figured it was probably the best way of doing it. Uh, so we've got one, two three and once again four of those right now these go through with that on the top like that and then is that that way round it looks like it's that way round so you could put these in first and then put those on the top of it which is what I'm going to do with the remaining ones Okay, I will have no clue. I assume it's some sort of obviously an internal piece, but I've got no idea what that's for. 
how it fits in with everything. I would have expected it to be symmetrical, but obviously it isn't, so I don't know. Uh, right, so that I get to put to one side while I find these parts, which is, that one's easy because it's huge. Uh, one of those, two of those, one more of these blue ones, and the bright green bit. You can't miss the bright green bit. There we go, that's that one. Uh, so this, again, doesn't matter which way up or which way around because it's completely symmetrical in all directions. Um, I thought I was seeing things, but as of late, that's been normal. For some builds, it, it's easier to have it on. Some builds, it's easier to not have it on. Um, I, I can see now that the stuff down here is out of focus. So maybe the autofocus isn't actually working. Let me just check. Let me have a look. I shall bring my other screen to the front. My control scene screen. Uh, right, so that's that there. Uh, what am I doing? I'm on that camera. And autofocus. Oh, it is actually off. Let, let me turn it on. That might be easier for this sort of build. So hopefully that will be more in focus for you in various different places. How's that? Uh, can You can see all the bits. Yeah, they're a bit clearer now. And then when I'm working on things a little bit higher up, Hopefully that will kick through and be able to see that as well. So, yes, hopefully there you go. Uh, don't forget the thumbs up, folks, says Dad. Yes, if you if you do like my likings, make sure you click the like button. Skullfish has already inserted his thumb, so thank, thank you very much. Skullfish. Uh, it's always appreciated when your thumb is up. Uh, wait, oh, you know what I mean. Anyway, right. So, one of these goes into the inside of that piece there one goes to the outside of that piece there and the blue one goes to the outside of that piece there and then the green bit goes on there like that right and then onto here we go how does that fit together that oh, the blue things that's the, what the blue things do the blue things go through into all of these like this Like that. I'm expecting that's going to push through into that. We'll wait. We'll wait. Oh, no, it does. It says to do it. Look, it says do it. So that red bit goes through into there, and that also holds all of that together, just like that. Cool. Now, I'm checking carefully when I'm turning pages that I go from 15 to 16, and, you know, it just goes up by one every time, because it will be very strange. Uh, Eric says it's better. It was weird looking, but then again, it is a gross moral stream. It is indeed. So yes, thank you very much. <laughs> right, the next stage onwards. Uh, one of those. One of those. I saw one of them over here. I think. Yep. There we go. Look. Another one of those white things. White tubes. Tube. And one of those blue things. It's got to be over here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice blue. I like. That's very pale. Much lighter than the normal blue that they go normally use. Uh, right, so putting that together like that goes on to that way round. That goes in there. And that goes on the end of it. And that goes through the top. Like that. Uh, one thing I haven't noticed in this kit. Um, there haven't been any of the Lego tool things. Uh, but it's Technic, so there's not actually any studs to put things together with, is there? No, I noticed that with the little buggy. Um, it's not normal Lego. Normal Lego with the you know the boards with the studs on it. Nothing like that at all in here. Not not a single stud in in view apart from obviously me. But you know we won't mention that because that'd be a bit creepy. Right now that goes in place down here and is held in place by these two. So these two go through. This is why it's not it's, um, not symmetrical because there's other things coming into play so that looks in there and that one looks in there uh, and that is all of the pieces from the outside of that pushed in place so we've just managed to get that fitted like that I don't know why I can't visualize how any of this is doing anything it's just the, the internal framework by the looks of it so at least now it it's more symmetrical apart from the color that's it it works like that now so yeah there we go right so I need two more tubes two tubes two of the blue things 
and one of those that I can't describe, but it looks like that. Uh, not that, that's different. It's probably in this mass in the middle. There we go, look, it looks a bit like that. One of them. So, how do they go together? That goes into there with a tube on it. And that one goes in the other side with a tube on it. And that goes that way up, looks like that. And that goes onto, onto the, uh, the red crossbeam piece. Okay, I don't know if that's some sort of eyes or stuff. I wonder if you could warhammer that buggy, says Eric. Uh, possibly. Uh, but no, I won't be. But buy one yourself, you can. Yeah, there you go. Uh, right, so I got one of those. A piece that I've not seen before. It's like a, a crossbar tube without with a solid round piece in it. It's interesting. And another large wheel. So that goes on the long end. And then that goes through here and the other end of that. That's why it's got this to help with friction. It's obviously not turning a square inside the hole. It's turning a, a round. So there we go, that's that. Which fits in there and rotates. All well and good. There's not any difference to one way or the other on any either of these wheels, is there? They're both Actually there is, there's a little undercut on there. Let's try that that way around and see if that makes a difference. Nope, no difference at all. So, there it goes that way around. Right, so that was that number. Now we're on number nine. So we get some more pieces, the orange. Two of those. And two of the red hooks. Uh, once again, they're a different red to normal. They're a deeper, darker red. I like the slight variations in colours and pieces, it's uh, it's nice. So two of those and two of those, and they go together, uh, making sure you get it the right way round. So if that's that way round, the tube's going long ways with it, not across it. Like that. And they go onto these bits. Yes. They connect onto there. Like that. So again, yeah, no, no clue as to what it is I'm actually building. It just continues on and upwards. Uh, Chris is experimenting. Time to get Bunsen and Beaker. I'm not experimenting. I, I'm just trying things. I'm just putting things together like what the instructions say to do. I'm burying my brandy glass under Lego. And that's never a good thing. Uh, Graham says, sorry I'm not chatting much. Chris made me go out and buy a technical kit and I'm building it right now. I didn't. It wasn't my fault. I, I merely opened up the possibility of Lego and I didn't get any sort of commission for you going out and buying it. If, if I was getting commission for you buying it, then I can say it was definitely my fault, but I'm not, so it isn't. Alright, I need four of those. So there's one, two, three, what's the next number, Connor? And Paige, but mainly Connor. Yes, it's four. Congratulations, well done. Yeah, counting to four is not tricky. I know, I know you can go much further than that. But uh, right, it's two of those in there, and two of those in the yellow one. Oh, nearly escaped. How many pieces am I going to have left over at the end of the build? At the end of this stage of the build, after bags number one, both of them. Uh, how many? Uh, spare pieces are going to be left. I'm going to say four. All right, and there'll be four pieces. There'll, there'll be like one of them, and and probably one of these blue ones, and and two other pieces, I reckon. So uh, vote now. There's no no prize to win, but I need four of them again. So one, two, three, four. Now we've got to find out where they go. They're not those. It looks like them, but that's only two. I did say four. Oh, they're there as well. Look, look, I can I can just see them. So there's one sticking out here, and one sticking out, not the end hole. The next one along. There we go. Six left, says James. Uh, I'm sure Lego and suppliers of wooden kits are blaming Chris for a surge in buying. 
Yeah, I don't think blaming would be... Cr- yeah, but uh, brandy-induced Chris, two glasses in the buggy, turns into something completely different. It probably would, but yes, I, I do limit myself to one glass per stream. And then I probably won't touch it until the next stream. So today's being Friday, it's probably next it's Sunday night for Warhamster that I'll, I'll next be uh, um, delving into the alcohol. Uh, right, two of those. So that goes on to there with that hole and that one at the bottom. Okay, that seems to work. I, again, still have no idea why any of this is but it seems to fit together so that's the important thing uh right three of those one two three two of these they're interesting pieces again they're sort of um obviously the crossbar fits inside it and it's got a tube that's going to be in there and it look, look I, I can recognize that bit like that so it's sort of a attorney angly thing but yeah, I won't jump ahead. I'll do it in instructions. Two of those. It probably isn't now because look, there's one of these as well. <laughs> it's obviously some sort of new Lego connection or old Technic Lego connection that I don't know about. So what else do I need? I need the big one of those, which I saw. I saw it. Oh, there it is. And two of these. So they're the same color as that. It looks like those. So one of them. And one of them. Right, now we get a one-to-one, top-down view of exactly what it should look like. So if we get that that way around like that, the three of those have to go into there. Well, there's a spike on one half of that that hopefully you can see there. So that's easy. That one goes on there. That one needs to slide in there. And that one slides in across the top, but what holds them in place. These go together. Like that. Right. So when that one goes in the top from that way, there's sort of a little bit of shaping on the inside there so you can sort of hold it the right way up ish. Then that goes in that way round, and these come in those holes. So they're going to go through there and join in that, and that one's going to go through the other side and fit through the other bit. So it won't actually go together until it's together. Uh, now, if my physics and engineering skills are working, this will be like a differential gearbox. So, yes. Uh, if you get the power comes in through here, it will turn them both at the same speed. But you can also have them turning at different speeds, or indeed different directions. So the power comes in and makes it go round, but if one wheel is not working properly or jammed on something, or if it's turning, the outside wheel needs to turn faster than the inside wheel. So it enables them to go at different speeds. It's very clever. I can't, I can't figure out how it works, even though it's here in front of me. It doesn't make sense to me. Obviously, turning this turns the, the whole casing. That makes perfect sense. I understand that. But... Turning that must turn something. It can't not do anything. But it can do both of them, or it can do one of them. But does it do that at the same speed? If it's turning both of them, it does the same speed as if it's only turning one of them. Or does it go twice as quick? It goes twice as quick if you hold one. But it's just so clever. And the fact that they can do it in plastic, in Lego and stuff, it's, it's great. It really is. Dad says, spot on, Chris, it's the diff. See, I know stuff. I know things. James says, I only got back into Lego after getting my little girl the Disney castle two years ago. Yeah, Lego is one of those things that everybody of my, our generation, had when you were little. You might not have had much of it, but everybody must have had at least something in Lego or be aware of it or used it at a friend's house or something. Everyone knows Lego. But you grow up, you drift away from it, and just don't think anything of it. But then, sometimes, if you're very, very lucky, you start a hobby with, you know, um, model model making and stuff like that, and it pulls you back in. Because it 
it is model making. It's not traditional model making with glue and plastic and stuff, but it's definitely model making. Uh, just trying to figure out how these bits go into there now. They go into the middle one. Like that. So they will rotate. I don't know why they need to, but they will. Goes in there. Uh, yes, so I say Lego is definitely model making. Uh, a lot of people will scoff at it and say, no, it's not proper model making. You don't have to glue it together. You don't have to paint it. You know. But you can. You could glue it all together if you wanted to. Obviously not the gears. You wouldn't want to glue them together. But other bits you could glue together and make a permanent kit. And you can paint it. Again, not the moving parts and the gears so easily. But it's possible to make it look very different by applying a little bit of traditional model making skills to it. Not that most people do. Not that anybody needs to. But it's possible to. Uh, same as, you know, like snap kit kits, bandai, gunpla and things like that. You don't have to do anything other than snap them together. But if you do put a bit more time and effort into it, you can make them look a lot nicer. But you don't have to. It's it's entirely the builder's choice, which is the, the fun and important thing about all building. You do whatever you want to do and have fun doing it, then you can't go wrong. So, yeah. Uh, Eric says he loves the Technic stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool. A lot of their parts are very useful in other hobbies. Uh, yeah, I would expect so. I mean, th these are strong plastic bars, basically. You can use them for whatever you like. Although, it's quite an expensive way of using parts, because Lego kits aren't cheap. Um, per plastic part, they're quite expensive, but again, it's all different. You've got to play for the design. I, I, how someone comes up with building this... I am in complete awe of. I don't know how they do it. I've got no idea how they do it. Uh, this is how these one-to-one -one things come into useful, because it tells you to use one of them. Now, you could sit here and count all the bits, or they show you a one-to-one -one scale piece, so you know it's that big. So it's not that one that I picked up. It's, it's only that big. So I can have a look through and find that one's still too long. I can't find the right bit must be doing it wrong all looking at the wrong color it's a gray piece so yeah that fits onto there one to one that's the right size so I need that I need two of these I need two of those that looks like these they're again an interesting piece the fact that they design these pieces and obviously then they come along and make a kit they obviously have an idea of what they need it to do and how they need it to work. And then they go to their big block of bin of bits and pick out, will this work for this? No, I need one that's a bit shorter. Oh, well, we'll use this one that's a little bit shorter. It's great. Shane says, I know I'm a nerd, but I love the workings of an, an epicyclic gear system. Is that what that is? I, I don't know the name for it. I, I understand the workings of it vaguely. But, yeah. Uh, right, let's pop these in there. And they go on the ends there. Right, and then that goes on to that as well. So that looks like that. And then that goes into here. And that holds that in place. Does that look right? That's just sort of protection for the gear by the looks of it, maybe, probably. By the looks of it, yes. And we've got to do the same for the other side. So I need one of those, one of those, one of those, and one more of them. So getting that that way round, that goes out the second one, that goes on there, going that way, and that goes on the top, and then that goes on to where the other one was the other side, like that. And that goes down in there and holds that in place. So that wheel can't escape and can't get caught by anything falling on top of it. So far, so good. Let's uh, continue on. Um, Mayhem says, I would love to build a Technic kit again, but Lego is banned in my house because my son's got loads of it. 
uh, left it for me to build it, then broke the lot of it. Yeah, that could be a problem. Um, I can't think of an easy way of solving that problem. Unless you get some Lego that's specifically your Lego that the kids can't play with. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, right, let's have a look. We're dealing with more gears now, so we need one of those. A yellow five block, which is that one and that one. So let's put that on in the position it says to put it in. That looks to be just about there. Uh, and one of those. I don't know if that's meant to be clear or white. I would say white because I found something that looks suspiciously like it. Um, it's blocked in the middle there. So it's like two tubes joined together by a little knurled piece. Uh, so where is that going to go together? Going through there. And then onto that at the other end. Okay. So, yeah, that's got... Well, that meshes with that wheel down there. So it's some sort of gear reduction. Maybe. Right, that's that. Uh, we need one of those. White five, that's easy. Just like that. Which goes over the top and holds everything secure again. Cool. Right, next up. Uh, one of those. And one of the black ones, like that. There we go. So that goes in that end like that. So far so good. It looks like we're not touching that again for a little while, but there we go. Also, sandwich says mayhem. I, I don't know what that... Does that mean you can't build because you've got a sandwich, or you want a sandwich, or because you need a sandwich? A sandwich is always the answer. Unless the answer is dinosaurs. But uh, yeah, so right, one of those and one of those. So that's like that. Then it doesn't tell me which, uh, it's got to go that side because it's got to come through both sides like that. And that one goes in next to it there. Okay, uh, then we need a gray seven, which is that size. And that goes along there. All right, uh, one. One, sorry about the counting, Connor, it's just one, so counting to one's not even slightly tricky. One, 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 and one. So all together there are four, yay! Yes, says Mayhem, sandwich is always the answer, yep. Right, let's get that together like that, that one in there. That one in there. And that one next to that. And that goes the other end of this. Okay, I still don't know what it is, but I'll just carry on and build it. Uh, 23, so 26 is not the next one. 24 is. Now we bring back to this. And that goes using those that way around into the tops of... Oh, those that fold down. There we go. Fold that down, then they go into there. So that will turn. I don't know why, but it, it does. It can. Uh, Candy Grams here. Uh, hello, Gross Models, Dad, Dexter, Crafter, and everyone else. Hope all is well. All is very well. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, that was 24. 25 says to turn it back down. So it goes like that. Okay. Now, we put that aside and build this huge thing. I'm betting this is like the, the main internals and front axle, I think. So this might be the front suspension type stuff there's still quite a lot of bits considering there's very few bags there's quite a lot of stuff to do in each bag so I've been you know nearly three quarters an hour already so I'm expecting probably there's going to be three episodes of this live stream um, first one obviously bag one then bag two and then a bag three finishing it and making sure it all works uh, so it seems to sort of fit together and work I'm hoping uh, right I want two of those and two of those, uh, which are not the ones with the ends on them. These, these have got a, an end piece, not an end cap to one end. It's not those, it must be these. Uh, it's a three long, which this is all three long, so that's okay. So it's two of those as well. 
Okay, now I've got to make two things that look like that. That's pretty easy. It looks like those. That's that. Uh, why am I doing that? I shouldn't be doing that yet. I should be doing this bit. Nobody told me. Uh, maybe in episode six. No, it's probably not going to be quite that bad, is it? Uh, uh, James says, got my other half, Alicia, a Pikachu and EV Lego building sets for her birthday. She's building EV now. Happy birthday. But uh, yes, uh, Lego is great fun for everybody. Uh, if you'll notice, if you've seen anything in the gross group, uh, which I should try pushing the button. It might work if I push the button manually. No, it doesn't work. My chat buttons aren't working for some reason. The problem with chat buttons not working is I can't diagnose what's happening with them unless I'm actually broadcasting because they don't work unless you're broadcasting apparently they don't work even when you're broadcasting but you know what I mean uh, one of those, that's got to go all the way down next to that as well um, so I might have to have a play around tomorrow and figure out if I can do some or do a off-air broadcast stream thing just to figure out what the problem is with the chat buttons because I like it when I can put things in chat just by pushing a single button and getting my message out there to you. But yes, if you haven't noticed already, have a look at the gross group on YouTube. Not on YouTube, on Facebook. Uh, you'll find that my family have been building some Lego kits. They, they, they both like Harry Potter. As do I, I must admit. But, you know, um, they've been building some Harry Potter Lego and putting some pictures up of their completed stuff in the gross group. Uh, which is what it's for. Uh, if any of you lot are building and not posting stuff in the gross group, then feel free. That's what it's for. I say, just drop along. Um, you can join. There are a couple of joining questions, but they're not, not difficult questions. There you go. Dad's done it for me. Thank you very much, Dad. Much appreciated. Uh, there are a couple of joining questions, but it's it's only things to make sure that you're you know real people and not taking advantage of Facebook. Uh and if you're in the Model Makers Boom Hut, uh, then they don't even apply it. They don't even ask the questions. They, they say, if you're good enough for them, you're good enough for us. So uh, join up, um, post it up. The only, let's say, important criteria is that you let me put the pictures up because I just go through the group, go through the photos that have been added to the group in the past week. And on a Thursday night when I do the evening with stream, I post up all the pictures. One at a time, we go through it, we look at it, we comment and, you know, who and are and stuff. So uh, feel free, join or not. But you can join without posting, but the fun is in the posting, obviously. So, uh, yeah, um, join up, have a look, and see what you like. Now I've got to find a bit that I can't see. It, it looks like that. I can't see that bit. Yeah, and you've got to make sure you get it the right way up. But I can't even find it to put it the right way up. That's interesting. Oh, there it is. It's grey. I was looking, for some reason, I, I see this and think it's black, but it's not, obviously. But then when I'm looking, I don't see it if it's the wrong colour. Uh, right, it says not that way up with the solid piece there. It's got to be that way up with the curvy piece there. So I need one of those. I need four of these. These are the ones with the little stops on the end. One, two, three, and three and a bit, four. There we go. And one of those, which looks like that one, trying to escape over there. Right, so for this we need to put that through there, and then that through there. And then that goes over there, and then that goes all the way through. Why did I get four of them? It said one. Oh, it's got four next to it, telling you how long it is. I've got to say, it's only using one of those. What are you talking about, four? So that goes through there. But doesn't go all the way through apparently. Like that. Looks like that. Okay. Then I need another one of those. Which also needs to go the correct way up. Then I do need another one of those. Uh, and another one of those. Which are going to go there, there and through again. Push it through there a bit. Put it through there a bit. Uh, Dad's putting loads of links up. I can't quite tell what he's putting links up for. What's he, what he put links up now? Oh, the Gross Models UK website. Thank you very much. And uh, is that my Amazon list? <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, yes, I have an Amazon list, uh, as Dad's just posted up in the chat there. Uh, basically, it's a collection of things that I thought would be fun to build but can't afford to go out and buy. 
Is that is that the easiest way of d describing an Amazon list? Um, I, I've just got a message. Let me just check to make sure that everything's okay there. All oh, right, there's a potential Amazon package coming for my daughter, and uh, the my family have just left. They they've not left permanently. I hope uh, they've they've gone out to do a little bit of shopping and to pop a present round for somebody's birthday, but they will be socially distancing. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that I may have to disappear. If the doorbell goes, I shall disappear and, um, grab the package from the doorstep when the Amazon man comes. But I've got a little button set up for, for the I'll be right back music. So I can push that. It's not a problem. Um, actually, I'm going to have to get rid of that message or it's going to beep at me again when, when I, uh, don't look at it in that because that's the way messages are with these things. So, right. That's that. Now we come back to the big piece and put it all together. How does it go together? Done that. Done that. Put them on there. Right. Now it says turn it upside down. And then that is... Got to be turned upside down as well. And, oh, we've got four holes there and four pins coming out the back of that. So that looks like that will probably... It together they do sort of a bit although they don't because that's oh, I've got it the wrong way round there we go right so it's the right way round but the wrong way round because that's what these things are for that's where these pop through so we can get that through there and then we can push this last bit through and that locks into there on both sides. Cool. So we've got some movement of that. That won't move, but the interior piece will. And I don't know. I can't tell. It says push it in and bend that down. So yeah, that looks like that now. Okay. Now we need one of those, which is a shorter one, the brown, three, one of those. One more of these uh, suspension wishbone pieces. And again, make sure you get it the right way up, which is the same way up as I had it before, that way round. And it goes into the top, over here, through that, right. That goes through there, like that. The colors all seem to match up, and it's going that way, and that's on the outside. Looks good to me. Right, uh, quick drink and then continue on. Suspension arm. I think it probably is. The way these two have got some movement. And that's where the wheel axle is obviously going to come out. So I would expect that they're probably some sort of suspension. Yes. Uh, right. One of those. And one of those which go together like that, not really a shock. Then one of those and one of those, which that goes together in there, and that goes through there. Okay, so far so good. Now we, oh, we need one of these gear pieces. Now oh, these have got the little ball joint on the outside there, so that's obviously gonna get held in those, and the other end's gonna go in there. So yeah, that makes sense to me. Right. Uh, it doesn't matter which way up that goes, it's rotational, so that's fine. That goes through there. Okay. Then we need two of the red ones with the balls on the top. And one of these. So, let's see. that got to go on there. That way round. Like that. With that in the outside. And that goes straight into the top of that bit, if I can turn it around. I like that. So far, so good. Uh, 29 to page 30. Where we're continuing with this, we need one of those and one of these. So what happens there? That goes into the end, like I thought it might have before, with that on there. Okay. Now comes the tricky bit. Looking at the picture here, 
that's up there that's got to go that way round like that so that's going to go into there that's going to go into there let's do that bit first let's plug that into there just extending that then that will go into that bit like that and that will go onto the top bit like that so yes we've got some sort of suspension piece which has still got a steering ability and that bit turns around when you turn it yep it makes sense to me I like it it's working uh, so continuing on I need one of those and one of those that's gonna go through there again again from this side making sure you get it the right way around um, Ba, ba, ba. Model Making Mayhem. I want my Facebook page to join the Gross Group and Festa's Workshop in the Boom Hut, own, but it only joins as the dummy account. Bottom weasels. Yeah, the Facebook have endless trouble with things like that. Uh, I don't know why. It shouldn't be a difficult problem, but for some reason, it is. Um, I've got uh, three different Facebook pages that I'm running, co-running, managing... Um, admining for whatever they call it uh, so there's the the gross models one which I use for everything that's my my basic go to Facebook page connection thing um, I have one for my actual place of business and I have the access to the team inept one so when I go to join a page um, it gives me the option of joining as my place of business or the two minute one it never gives me the option to join as gross models I don't know why I don't think there's any different settings I can't find any different settings that I've got that set up to to anything else but for some reason it won't let me join as the page that is the only page that has got any basis on wanting to join a model making group or page or whatever You'd have thought, you know, that would be the one to use. But no, Facebook won't let me. Um, I have been able to, in some uh, respects and opportunities, but not very many. And there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason as to why I can and why I can't. So uh, I can't, unfortunately, help you with that. The only way I can think I might be able to help you with joining the gross group is that is sometimes the group can send an invite to a particular place or page. Um, I'll have a look and see if I can. I think I did, but that was before you changed it or something. But if that's the suspension, that's going to be a big truck. It is indeed. It's going to be a substantial piece of equipment. Uh, right. Uh, yes, so uh, later on this afternoon, um, give me a shout if I forget. But I'll try and send you a, a thing off to uh, see if I can get you invited to the gross group as as your model making page because obviously that's it makes sense that's what everyone wants to do that uh, Fox couldn't do it but then managed to because I was able to send her an invite to it so hopefully um, the same will apply and I can obviously find your page profile and send an invite directly to it hopefully uh, if you don't get one it either means I can't do it or I've forgotten uh, could easily be either of those, but yes. Um, Raging Modeler said, I was able to, no idea how though, but did it on, de on desktop. Yeah, uh, these things are often easier through a computer rather than through a mobile device. Um, as powerful and as useful and as amazing and great these mobile devices are, websites still treat them differently. So it doesn't always work. Uh, right, I need those, two of those, that and two of them, right. So they go into the tops here. Uh, that way, no, the other way around. I'm going to say that's just a hole, it's not a square. So they go into there, and they go onto the ends of it. Okay, I don't know why, again, they're not going to turn, but... Uh, right, let's get this the right way round. It is on the back here. It is on there, so it's going through there, and then no, those close in and lock it in place. So it's just supporting the other end of the, the gears. 
Fine, I like supporting the gears, it's all good. Uh, Dad says, send me an invite too, please. I thought, you already were, but I, yes, absolutely. Um, someone give me a shout an hour after I've finished, when I've tidied up and finished everything off and set everything properly. Remind me who I have to send invites to. Uh, you can always... I've got to change the name, look. It still says Lockdown Livestream. Whereas it should say Lego Livestream. I've got to change that later. Send me an email. Um, Chris at grossmodels.uk uh, That will help me remember that I've got to do things because I forget. I, I am that rubbish. I'll turn this off and think, there was something I had to... Oh, I don't remember. I'll, I'll forget that I had to do anything and I just won't do it. So send me an email to remind me to do things. And then I can find it and do it. One of those. Two more of these. Um, if you don't send me an email, I'll still try and remember, but there's a very good chance that I'll forget. So if, if someone can send me an email, or if all of you send me an email with the link to the page that you need me to send it to, that's probably the easiest way of doing it and the easiest way of me remembering to do it. Right, I'm looking for... That bit. I don't remember having seen it at all, but it's probably just laying the other way up. It's not that bit, because that's round. It's different to that. It's got teeth on it. It's probably that bit. Look, that bit that's upside down. There you go, look, see? It was hiding in plain sight. So one of those goes on to the end of those. Okay. Uh, two of those and two of those. Not that one. It's trying to escape those. It's kind of that. There's another one of those. There it is. Uh, yes, so this build is looking to be uh, about right. It's continuing. The, the bag one has now been an hour. So it's going to be an hour and a half by the time I get through that. Probably a little bit longer than that. Uh, so, yes, I shall by the looks of things, progress through this for three weeks. I am going to do it on the Friday, uh, but next week uh, should still be the same time, midday. But the week after, will have to be in the evening, because by the sounds of things, by the looks of things, I'm going to be back at work. So it'll be happening either later in the afternoon or in the evening. I'll have to see how, how much work I am, how long I'm at work for, because I think we're going to be opening shorter hours to begin with. Uh, ba ba um, Athol checked out Dad's site. I don't know what that was about. Uh, did mine on the phone. Says Mayhem. Yeah, try it on, try on the actual computer first. But yeah. Uh, Dad says uh, get get some in then. Always post your pics up. It's good for others too. Yes, Dad also has his uh, model making co-op uh, group. Put pictures in there as well. Uh, we'll have to start again. Table flip. Break. You don't have to start again, Mayhem. You just have to get to a computer and send the invite from there. The the page that you've set up is probably fine. It's just that it's when you're asking to connect to it, it's doing it differently. Uh, they sort in the group and says join us page. Yeah, there's, there's an option somewhere probably. But if you have trouble, give me a shout. Say email me, and we'll 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 figure it out. We'll get it there somehow. Turn it over. That's one whole stage. Is to go from there to there. Well done, Lego, because that was tricky. I wouldn't have been able to do that without your help. Right, they go onto the red things. What, have these gone all the way through yet? Yeah, they have. But nothing holds them in place yet. No. No? Maybe. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm seeing differences. I'm seeing differences down here to my model. Why am I seeing differences? Because that bit, that shouldn't have been like that. That should have been pointing upwards. Right. I've, I've not missed a stage, but I've neglected a rotation of a piece. And possibly missed a stage. Look, because even here, that was upwards. So let's go back again and see what happens to the other end of that. That was there, that's not there. Right, let's come back again. No, because that's what I've got. And then it jumps to that. 
that doesn't just jump to that, does it? That, that's not the sort of thing you can just do. Because they don't just turn, do they? Right, let's take that out of there. Push it through with that. Right, oh, they do turn if it's not through there as well. Right, so let's push that down there then. And then push that through. And do the same on this side. Push that down and then lock that through. Because that's sort of what that meant, but I didn't, I missed that bit. I thought it was just these bits that were turning down. But it was actually the whole thing. Uh, so that's that, then that goes through there. So that, I've got that through the wrong bit of that, have I? Yes, that should be the one bit lower. Now it goes through those bits. Okay, that makes more sense to me. I didn't like that it was loose, so now it's not loose. But now I can't get it in because of the other bit that I've already put on. Uh, let's take that out of there. Then I can get that through there. Where's the other bit? There it is there. You might not be able to make out any of what I'm doing here, but I'll show you when I've done one side how it went wrong. That's better. Right, now, two problems. I didn't have these black bits twisted upwards, which I should have, and this piece is going through the wrong bit. It shouldn't be at the top there. It should be the next one down there. So I can take that out of there. I can move that down, but... I can't just push that through because this blue bit's in the way, but luckily enough I can just remove that, put that back where that should be. Through all of that, oh, not dropping it. Because it grips into these black ones better, or oh, it does, whereas the other bits it rotates around. So you've got to get that through, the first bit of that, get that in the right place. Then that goes through the rest of it. I can put the blue bit back in place, looking that there. So that lowers that. That actually makes them symmetrical now. So that's got probably a little bit more movement. So that was that. So good. Moving onwards, or rather skipping back through to the bit that I've already done and doing it properly this time. Uh, we need this bit. Right, which way up is this now? That's that way round, like that. And that will go on to there, in there like that, yes, like that. And these pop onto the red bits. So this is actually the steering. And so with that down there, these are obviously suspension. And this is the steering for the whole thing. Which works. Not quite as smooth as I was hoping it was going to be, but there we go. Uh, Athol says I have to spray again, it looks frosty and that's a long spray. I don't know what that was all about, but there we go. Uh, Nat got stuck on a phone call. Uh, what have I missed in the last 15 minutes? I was putting some Lego together, but... I did do a little bit wrong, but it's okay now. Uh, James was thinking of possibly changing my channel name for people to find easily, but I don't know what to change it to. Any ideas, guys? Uh, no, is the easy answer. Yes, change it. Definitely change it. Um, I'm, I'm all for having different channel name to your actual name. You can incorporate your actual name in it, but also put something about what it is you're doing. Because it makes it, apart from easier to find, it makes it a separate thing. Um, so you can actually use it for, let's say, signing into YouTube and things like that. Uh, you don't need to actually create a separate account. You can just change the name. Dad's changed his YouTube name several times over the last uh, year or year or more. Um, I, I think it might be time for him to change it back to Scaly Models. I think everybody knows he's dead. But if you change it to Scaly Models, then that's also going to be increasing his um, uh, pimpage of the Scaly Models brand. So... Uh, you know, my, my opinion is that it might be time for Dad to change his name again. We'll obviously still call him Dad, but we'll also call him Scaly Models. Because now he's getting video content out there and doing regular live streams. Oh, and I'm, I did. I saw your comment at the end of my stream last night. 
um, saying that you're doing a regular in between show. I, I didn't know it was an actual regular, regular, regular thing, but uh, I'm happy that it is. So yes, um, on Sundays, don't forget over at Scaly Models. Uh, I've done that and got told off by Fox. Yeah, but you won't. You he didn't really mean it. You can stand up for yourself and say, "No, I'm doing it for the pimping," and and he'll he'll shut up. It, it'll be it will be good for him to be humbled a little bit. He likes it, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So um, Dad now has a regular stream on a Sunday night, uh, just after Fox and just before me. In between us, you might even say. So uh, yes, that's four regular live streams on a Sunday now. So no excuse for anything other than sitting and watching us do stuff, or just chat about stuff, and just things. So yes, uh, join in. If you've got a channel, find a slot, do a live stream, do a late night live stream after, after me, do, do one at 10 o'clock so that's connected to there and with that straight, is that straight it's showing that as being straight and straight but it sort of isn't now I'm assuming that these are the same length but that might not even be the case Or have I got these in the wrong place? I've got these in the wrong place, look, see? Yeah, it only goes to show when you're doing it that they should be in the next one along. Somehow, somewhere. Is that the whole of that? That's that block. Needs to be in there, so it doesn't actually rotate. Alright, that goes in there. And that goes on there like that. And this does exactly the same thing over this side. So yes, you didn't miss much now. I've done something wrong again, look. Uh, so that goes round, which way? That way, like that, to go there. So that works, I've got to do the same with these ones. Have I? Where do these ones go? Oh, I've put them in the wrong place as well. I think it was because things were turning upside down and going backwards. No, that should be in that one. So, yeah, they're now level with each other, and they both bend in the same way for that. So that's okay, and that's working like that. Even when that's up, that still works and steers. So, so far, so good. It seems to be working. A couple of minor hiccups and adjustments, but yeah. It's a dead sandwich, says Eric. Uh, so I'll change my YouTube name from Trickston to uh, Stratus Strong because of two reasons. One, people found it hard to say Trickstein, Trickstein. And two, uh, Stratus is my universal name for all my creative things. That's that's a good thing. Yes, have a have a a, a brand that you can use for other things. Um, if it's a unusual name or a unique name then more the better because you're going to be able to use it across everything um, I've been able to get gross models um, as you know uh, Twitter YouTube uh, Facebook Instagram uh, other th every, everything you can think of if you find a social media platform and search for gross models on it there's a chance you'll find me you might not find much content because I do seem to forget about everything apart from YouTube and Facebook, because they're the easiest ones to use and just get used to. But uh, yeah, there, there are versions of my stuff on lots of different platforms, and it's all called the same thing. Uh, that annoyed me when I signed up to Xbox Live. I signed up to Xbox Live and uh, couldn't have Ace, which was the tag that I'd used on PC gaming for a long time, uh, but could have Ace UK. So I thought, fair enough, okay, I'll do that. And then PlayStation came along, and I couldn't have Ace UK, so it's Ace UK 01. Just annoyingly, it's like, why have you... No, you shouldn't let people steal things from my name. Not my name, I know. Anyone's welcome to it, that's fine. Alright, there we go, that's a little block of something that I've built. 
which goes on to this somehow somewhere somewhere downwards like that okay that's a lot of block to hold in this part of the assembly stop the steering coming out that one still moves around a bit but I'm sure that'll be okay so that one doesn't and because it's all smooth and rounded edges it moves as it should so that's okay I'm happy with that fine right next up four more of these little blocks that hold things together where are they gonna go uh, it's only showing two and it's not really showing where they're going either that's helpful is it that one Yes, because that will go through and hold that together. Don't know why it's saying four though, because that's only two of them. Showing another two in a box at the top here. Oh, just up to the edges of those. And so obviously something's going to go in the middle there and it's going to hold that in place. So a nice solid block of Lego and it's very sturdy. I mean, obviously you're going to drive things around, so it's going to be crashed into things no doubt at some point by somebody not not me by somebody else but yeah right i need two of those and two of those yep that's them right so let's see where they go is it still that way round yep they're going over here somewhere going into that with the cross piece looks like just a bit of stabilization for that and over the other side the same bracing the uh, suspension piece like that so they're still sort of floppy at the top, but I'm sure that will sort itself out momentarily. Now we need to build an assembly for the extra large motor. Where did I put that? That was over here. There we go. Right, so I've got that. Oh, I need a sticker. I do need a sticker. Sticker number four. Sticker number four. I assume this is just to get things wired in properly. So it's got the white cross thingy on it. And it's going on there which way round? Does it say does it matter which way round? It says Lego on both of them. I'll put it that way round. And that's going across there. Just like that. Okay, I'll keep that to one side because I've got another motor that we're going to be installing. So I'm assuming that that's going to have a sticker on it as well. <gasps> we have a new visitor, we have Scaly Models. Scaly Models is here. Yay! Well done. Don't tell don't tell Fox, see if he notices. <laughs> um, if they stop Chris from having all variants of Ace does that mean he'll have to stop going by the name Rimmer no this was before Rimmer uh, I've had my actually it probably wasn't before it might have been um, my Xbox Live has been active for 16 or 17 years now so yeah it's been a while uh, Trucker is home uh, Trucker's here yeah. hi Lewis um, uh Right, Scaly Model says, oh wow. Uh, yeah, it's D-Day tomorrow, so I can take it off. Is it, is it actually tomorrow's D-Day? Oh, okay, I lost track of everything. But there we go. Oh, he will notice it's dead. He might, he might not. He's not terribly observant. He, he has his moments, does Fox. But some of them are few and far between. Uh, right, one of those and one of those. That just goes on the end there. Making sure it's the right way round, but probably doesn't matter. Right, two of them. I've got a motor on now because time's getting by. Look, it's quarter past one, and I've still got a big pile of stuff. Breakfast in bed for Nat says Dad. No, probably not. I doubt it. I, th I, I bet Lewis can't cook breakfast. I bet he moans about Nat's cooking all the time, but I reckon he can't cook himself. Oh look, it's 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 Darth Maul's lightsaber. No, it's not. We won't we won't mention things like that. Right, more gearing. Okay, uh, one bit there, let's, right, well, let me keep the motor, I'll move the main thing off to one side, keep the motor here because I'm going to be using that in a minute anyway. 
one of them and four of these, right? It's counting again. One, two, three, four. Not terribly good counting or high counting, but counting nonetheless. Uh, then that says, you've been home five minutes, you're already complaining, Lewis. We expected it though, didn't we? All right, then that goes through the top there, okay. And then we have the motor. And bits and things, what? Why has this got extra bits fitted to it that I haven't done yet? Have I turned over another page at once? 41, 44, I have, look. There we go, back to that. Now I've got four of these. One, two, three, and four. I got distracted by things. It looks like that's the other way up because it's not got the sticker on it, let's see. Two, three, and four. Uh, right, I can hear the vehicles outside. I'm just going to go and check and make sure it's not the delivery trying to get in. So I'll see you in a moment. Very strange though. Was it you ringing it, Eric? No. <laughs> uh, Count Christian again. Yeah. Right. Back to this. It's very strange because I'm home alone, and that hasn't happened for months. Um. Let's say the the family have gone out, so I'm hearing noises and stuff in the background, and not knowing what they are. It's very very unnerving. All right. Let's get those four in there. Two, three, and four. Okay, that's that. Then we need the long piece, which is that long piece, and one of those with the short bit on the end, like that. There we go. So the short bit on the end goes into the end, and then that goes next to it. Like that. Looks like that. Okay, we'll go with that. Now we'll turn over the page and make that bit that I've already made. And then we get to install this onto there. Excuse me, moving around made me sneeze. Right, that goes in there, connected all the way up to there. It will go in there, it will, honest, there we go, that one's gone in there, that one hasn't, that one will, like that. So that's going to turn, we haven't got any cog on there yet, but obviously that's going to be assembled momentarily. And over here it is, uh, right, what we got, we got the other, another long one, which is indeed one of those. Another one of the bits with that, and that goes on the end there again, and that goes on the other side. So nice, strong support and build up for it. Okay, so far so good. Now we get to play with other things. Turn it over, I've done that. So we've got the sticker on the top, so I know which way up it is. One of those. And one of those. Right, so that's gonna go in there and that's gonna feed in from the other side to hold it all in place. You're hearing noises, Chris, says Quinn Man. Something strange going on, he 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 he. Yeah, right. Uh, Chris unattended. Someone should notify the authorities. It probably, yes, I probably shouldn't be allowed to be unsupervised. 
Uh, right, two of these. They go on the outside. Again, holding everything nice and secure. Lots of strong, stable construction and sort of belt and braces holding it in place and making sure it's definitely not going anywhere. I like it. So that connects to there. So that's going to be gearing it up a lot because it's a big wheel feeding a little wheel so it's going to go quick. So keeping that to there. Two more of the black ones. Oh, with that one trying to escape and that one. So they go through there like that. Eventually it does. It goes through like that. And that goes through there. Okay. One of those. Uh, that looks like that. I've seen that. There it is. Interesting other little bit. Oh, that's a clip for the wire. That's interesting. I like that. So at some point around there, that's going to go on there. So that will let us pin the wire out in, in, in place, out of place, somewhere, someplace. Uh, it's got it going around there, so I've got it the right way up with a little, it says Lego on the clip, clip there, like it does there. Okay, uh, then turn it over and attach to this. So this is that way up, this is that way up. Uh, that's obviously going to go through somewhere. Is that gonna, does that connect to a wheel? Not yet. Right, let's have a look. These are going through the ends there. So that's just going to go on there. That's going through there. Oh, it plugs on the, end of the, the other end of this white thing. In there, and they plug it home. Well, they will if you get it lined up just right. Yeah, come on. A little bit of wigglage. There we go. And that one there as well. So that's fairly secure on there. It's, it's obviously going to be built into more stuff. But that should probably not turn on its own because it's geared. Oh, there we go, it does. So that's the drive for the front wheels. So by turning that round, I'm making the front wheels turn. And they can go rotate and go up and down as well. And that's ready to be held in place somewhere, no doubt, by something somewhere sometime. That's that. We haven't finished yet because I've got lots of bits left over. Look. <coughs> uh, call the Ghostbusters, says James, yeah. Uh, that's why I make my Cosmo pieces with Lego, Technic Lego, super strong. Yeah. Absolutely. Funny looking toothbrush, this kind of man. It's pretty funny looking toothbrush, yes. Right. Oh, suspensions. Springy things. Quite strong springy things as well. Two of those. Two of them. And two of them. Let's see how that goes together. That one goes there with that through the red bit. Like that. And these two, right, let's get that pictured like that. These are going to go in somewhere to the top of that. Through there. And that holds it in place. Looks like that. Sort of. Let's do that on that side as well then. No, not through there. It's going through there as well. I thought that was a bit too long. So it's going through there, which is then holding that in place. And then not sticking out the back like that one does. So through that bit. Then through there. Then that's there. Cool. I like that. And that's used all the bits that I had, which is good. Next up, we're building a whole new assembly. So we're putting this off to one side. Like that, we're getting the other motor, another sticker, number three this time, the blue one. Uh, we're getting it the right way round, so it says Lego down there. We're putting that one on there, like that. Okay, I think we're done with the stickers for now, so I'll put them back in the box. That's that, right? I'll make sure I turn over one page at a time from now onwards. Need four of these, so I get one, two, three, four. And they're going, getting that that way up, uh, to the bottom of this, and the tops the other end. 
Uh, Athol's got to go. The police want to speak to me. Bye, all. Uh, bye, Athol. Hope everything's okay. That's quite a mechanism. Lego Technic never ceases to amaze, says Candy Graham. It certainly is impressive. I've not so I've not done much Lego Technic, um, but uh, yeah, what I have done now over the last few weeks has impressed me. Uh, right, so this is going into there, and then that's going up to there. Okay, two of the red pieces going over the end of it. That's that. Uh, Lewis has got to go do the shopping now. Bye, all have fun. Bye, Lewis. Thanks for popping in. See you soon. Miss you. Bye. Uh, right, one of those. Two of them. Okay, they go into either end of that. That's nice and easy. And that just goes on to the end of that. So, little propeller. Yay. Right, two of these. Uh, they go that way round, holding that in place and... It's obviously just another support thing, bracketing down there. Okie okay, dokie. Next up, 54. Building a whole steering assembly ratchet thingy. So we need one of those with that. Uh, how does that go in there, that way round? Getting it in the right place. About there. And then one of those, and one of those. And that goes in that end like that. Oh no, that goes into there first, All right, okay. And then that all goes through there from that end. Okay, I understand, I don't know why, but it does, yep. All right, one of them and one of them. So that's gonna go on there, and then that's gonna go on there as well. Making another symmetrical piece with a little rolly piece. Okay. One big bit, yep. And one of those, and that goes into the end like that. And that goes one gap, and then clips in there like that. Three of these. One of those, and the last one of them. So that's going in the middle of that. Then these, all right, how's this working? That goes on the top, that way. They've just got to go on the other ends because they've got crosses in the ends of them. So like that, okay. And that goes on to the end hole down there, like that. All right, then that goes on to here, that way up, uh, that, where, what, who, sort of level with, but is anything actually going through anything? No, it doesn't look like anything is actually joining together on that, it's just sort of sitting there. Fair enough. We'll have that just sort of sitting there. Uh, we get the other long one, longer than that. Where's the longest one? There it is. Running out of pieces, so it's getting easier to find the right bits. That's going in there, and that's going on the other side. Right, so where's the wire that's just going out the bottom? Let's not worry about the wire. No, the wire goes over the top. And then this goes there. So that goes on to there as well. Okay, so that cops together and that will sit like that ish. Or well, won't go lower because of that bit. I've put that on the wrong. Look, oh, I'm doing it upside down. That's why, because that goes that way around. The wire still goes through and over the top. I didn't notice the lack of blue sticker on my instructions. So it's going on to those. They're holding it in place. Right, so let's put that apart and see where that goes. Got that, one gap, then that. So there's that, one gap, and then that goes on there like that. And like that. Okay, so that's got some up and down. Don't know, I'm just trying to think it through. When that turns round, 
that will either raise or not raise or stop it but yeah okay uh, before I go I might just sneak on Nat's phone and then Nat's it serves me right for leaving my phone unattended <laughs> Right, um, Graham says, Phew, finished my build. I'll post a couple of pics in the gross group on the group page. Thank you very much. Yes, much appreciated. Um, I haven't finished yet, as you might have noticed. But we've got that that looks like that now. Done that, so put that on that side. So that does indeed look somewhat like that so far. Yep, okay. Right, two of these. And two of these. So they're going to go into the cross pieces of those. And they're going to go in here. Well, we've got three gaps. One, two, three gaps into the fourth one, which is next to the blob. So that looks like that. Okay, yep. I don't know how the steering is going to work yet. I haven't figured that bit out. Right, we're getting our two big bits, uh, which goes that way up and that way up. Okay, four of these, one, two, three, four, uh, go into not the top ones, but the other four. So those two, then I can put these in the top one and the middle one. Okay, uh, then we've got to build another little thing. So we need one of those, one of those, and one of those. So that goes into there like that, then that goes that way around like that. And that goes in from that side like that. Definitely held in place. Okay. Not held in place on that yet, but we'll worry about that later. So that goes there. Okay, now we've got interesting mechanical pictures. That's got to go that way round. So that is actually not attached yet, so I don't need to worry about that as yet, because it's not... Does it clip? It does. It clips in place. Right, there we go. So that clips in place and rotates. So... Now we get to play around with this end from this end. So we've got cross bit, tube bit. That looks sort of like that, and that's got to go on there. Which way up is this? That's to the top on there like that. So does that go through there? No, that's central. No, the cross bit central. So yes, that goes through there like that. And then that pushes into there to hold that in place. Okay. Probably should have been central when I did it, but it's... Yeah, I can't turn that. No, that bit still turns. Okay, that's all right. So that's, that turns. That bit doesn't. That's okay. That looks like that now. 59, page 60. My bits are escaping underneath the bit that I've already built. Let's close everything in a bit. Hopefully I'm not going to lose any pieces now, but there we go. Uh, James is nearly about to start bag three of his build. Nowhere near finished. That was prime. How many, how many bags in it? Because there's only three bags of this. Admittedly, there's like six bags, but half of them are called three. So how many, how many bags in your bit? Uh, this is the blue connecting wire. which it's got going on that way round from there, about there. Okay. That was that for that stage. Right, then we bring in the whole thing and it all goes together hideously wrong. It says push in these two bits, which are these... I haven't got those, oh, these two bits. And they go onto there. Okay, I understand that, that makes sense to me. If that's the bit that holds that in place. There's a bit there that's going to join up. These are probably going to go through there. But, yeah. Okay. It's it's one piece now, at least. That's good. Total of 20 bags, says James. Yeah, so you're not, not far along. 
Right, for this build, I need one of these and one of those. And yes, as I thought, it's going through there. So it looks like that goes through there first. And then that's going to go through that bit there, which will hold that in place as well. So that's all becoming assembled. Nice, getting there, I'm happy, I'm happy. Uh, two of these, and one of those. Yep, that one. So it goes through there, not the end one, the one next to the end one. And that goes across the top. These aren't going directly into that then. That's going into there. Like that. It's just strapping that bit down again. That's holding that in place. Okay. Uh, 63 to 64. Right, now we get these bendy pieces. One of them. And one of those. That uh, goes through there from that end like that. And that's going... All of these bits that we've been putting, leaving hanging out, is now being attached to... Where? Top one. So there. So that's got to go through there and then attach to everything else along the way. That one there, that cross piece through there, the blue bit there, that bit's already through there. A little bit of jiggling and wobbling to get that on there. So, yes, that's gone on there. That's okay. I'm happy with that so far. Uh, then, one of those, uh, where's that guy, it's going across there, don't know why that couldn't have gone on at the same time, but ours is not, that's that, okay, next page, step 112, uh, not got anything, oh it's holding these up, so that goes in there and that holds onto that, okay, so that's what the suspension attaches to. So we've now got proper suspension on both sides. Which can actually tilt and move if needed when that goes up. So I don't know if that's a deliberate thing or just because it's not finished yet. <coughs> uh, right. One of those. And one of those. Uh, with stickers. No, more stickers. I didn't make normal stickers. Number 17. 15, 16, 21, obviously, 17, there you go, it says no step. How's that going on there? That way round with no there. You shouldn't step on Lego anyway, because it hurts. So that's that bit. So I've got this. So that's going through the middle hole of that. And that's going through down there to hold the other end of that in place. So yeah, that will stop the, the rattling and the moving. So that's now holding the other side of that. I'm betting that we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. But not yet. Assuming I didn't miss a page. Let's just double check. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, 12, 13, 14. No, it didn't. Uh, one of those. Looks like that. Where's that? It's down here. Cross those two there. There we go. <sighs> right, that's that. Let's let's finish the brandy. That do right. That's out of the way. Must be close to the end because I finished the brandy. That's the way it works. One of those. One of those. One of those. And one of those. Doing a little sub assembly that you can't see off the bottom of the page that goes into there like that and that goes through there like that and the white bit goes on there like that okay and that goes underneath there and that pushes up into it so which way round to that it's got to be in there like that there we go 
that fits in there that goes up there and then goes up even further into there so don't know that there's any moving parts on that but it's a little roller there just in case yes right next bit now we're doing the other side is that turned over is that no it's not it's that way up uh, right so one of those and one of those not one of those one of them that goes through the bottom piece there like that and it's still the same side actually it's going on to these now so that's bracketing that cool I like that now we're on the other side so we've got that with one of those which goes through the top there from that side this is now that way around and that's going in there just the same as the other one did the other side so let's get everything lined up there 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 and there cool that will lined up nicely that time uh, James has got a total of 20 bags, he said. Yeah. Uh, Chain is building number four, infantry, infantryman, from 135th ICM German half track, painting nine guns to go inside the model last night. Loads of detail for a £23 kit. Yeah, a lot of kits you can get to, some nice details in. I've done that side already. It didn't tell me to until just now, but I already have. Um, yeah, I mean, Lego is expensive for what you get, but some of the building is just great good fun. Uh, you've got to put part 17 on there as well, which is the other no step sticker uh, which goes there with no on that side there we go so that goes on there like that from the other side and that goes through there to hold that in place it's easier doing it the second time when you've already done it because you know what you're doing uh, sometimes I know what I'm doing a little bit maybe right so that now goes on there like that build up one of these again with one of those one of those one of those and the last one of those is that all of it that's only three bits four bits yeah but there we go so again that bit goes through there like that that goes through there and that goes on there and then that goes underneath here in the same way that the other one did like that and like that right that's 75 so on page 76 we have one of these and one of those now how many pieces did people say i was going to have left over three or four wasn't it we're getting to that stage of the build now where the uh the numbers count uh, that's going on there like that, like the last one. Right, two of these and two of those, which go together like that. Right, what are these holding? Get the right way up that way. They're going on here somewhere. Blue bit down there, through there, right, okay, that goes through there. Like that. And that one does the same the other side. Okay. I think it's going to be more than four. Six is James now. Right, two of these. Which are those? Yeah, good, because they're the only bits that I've got left. They go through all the way back to hold into the top of that. So again, a bit more support. I think there's going to be no connecting hole left unpinned. Right, now we've got a little, another little build to do. We've got two of them. Two of them. Two of them. That was that, that and that. Two of them. And two of the U bends. Right, and they're going together like such. Uh, the U bend, that's going in there. That's going across the top of it. The two red things are coming out the bottom there. 
and they're both going on to there. It was only one of them and one of them and one of them. I think you got two of everything, but didn't need it. So that's that. Probably got to do the same on the other side, but we'll worry about that momentarily. That's going on to this piece. Like that. Okay, and then yes, we're doing the same on the other side. So we've got tube with that in it. With that across the top. With the two red bits coming out. And the two of those coming further out. And that's going on to there, like that which will obviously have something installed into the middle of that as that goes into there. So that's that. So leftover we have uh, one, two, three, four, five pieces left over. I was right it was one of them, but that was the only bit I got right, I think. And that's what we have built today. It looks just like the picture. Um, it's obviously not powered, not working as yet, but it has working suspension. And if I can still get down to the bit that powers it, yep, there we go. The wheels, when connected, will turn and work. So suspension and differentials and things. So you can actually turn the wheels in opposite directions. Uh, you can't turn it the same direction because of that. But turning one that way makes the other one go the other way. Unless it's powered, in which case they will both go the same way. Uh, so yes, there we have it. I shall put those five pieces... Um, of which I can only find four now. There's another one under there, look. I'm trying to escape. Uh, I shall put those five pieces with my spares pack and probably never use them, but you know, they always come in useful, so you've got to keep them just in case. Um, the stickers I shall put in the book so we know where to start from next time. It's going to be bag number two. Uh, and by the end of it, we'll have fitted the main assembly thing, the other motor. And basically, it's pretty much going to be doing the same thing again at the back, without the steering, but with the power supply in there somewhere. Um, yes, Lynn's here. Hi, Lynn. Welcome. It's the end now, but, you know, there we go. <laughs> you can rewind and watch it again later. Uh, this Lego truck is going to be huge, says Candy Graham. It is indeed. That was, yeah. Oh, the tyres. I showed you the tyres, didn't I? It's, it's going to be quite substantial, yes. So, uh, yeah, right, well that's that. I, I've enjoyed this, I have, really have. It's been a good fun build, a couple of errors, but there are always gonna be a couple of errors with my builds. Um, but all in all, it's been fun, it's it's substantial. I'm, I knew it was gonna be a big kit, I didn't think it was gonna be quite that big kit, but it is, it certainly is. Um, no stepping on those bits though, so yeah, don't step on any Lego, because it hurts. But, for today, that will do. It's been, you know, an hour and three quarters, so... Assuming bag number two is going to be much the same again. Uh, bag three is going to be quicker and easier, but there's then going to be the whole playing around with it, making sure it works, and I can't drive it very far on the bench, but I'll be able to see that the engine's going, the steering works. So I would expect this to continue for three more weeks, or two more weeks. Three weeks in total. Uh, Lynn says, don't worry, I'll watch Wednesdays and today's shows later. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, let me come back over to this side so I can see you properly i can't see you at all but i can see the text easier and you can see me properly because you can still see that i haven't moved it it's still down there um i shall put that away until next friday when i return uh probably the same time i might edge it a little bit later in the afternoon i don't know um it depends how things go and everything because obviously i'll be sort of preparing for returning to the world of employment um so yeah, I might edge it a bit later because the late next one's going to have to be a bit later as well. So keep an eye on the YouTube to find out exactly when I'm going to be broadcasting again. Of course, today being Friday, it's the end of the week. Tomorrow, I'm not broadcasting at all unless I decide to do a game at some point at lunchtime. I might. It's been warm. I haven't, but yeah. Uh, Sunday, there are all the streams. Uh, we have, as we know, uh, Colin and Dave at Festa 67's Workshop Sunday brunch at 12.30. Uh, 3 o'clock, Fox over on uh, Modern Waking Guru. At, uh, I assume, 6.15, that'll tell me otherwise, on the Scaly Models channel, which you can see in the chat now as Scaly Models. Uh, he's doing his in-between show, where he'll be doing something. I don't... Have you got a plan for what you're going to do, Dad? Are you doing... Did you get, Did you ever get your other wooden 
gun thing, or did you give up on that? Anyway, um, Dad will be doing something in between that, and just after that, at 8 o'clock in the Sunday evening, I shall be doing my Warhamster, which is over there behind me, you can't really see. Uh, probably finishing the basic painting on that, and then continuing onwards with weathering and stuff as the weeks go by. Monday, e-models. Yep, that's what, back to normal-ish e-models. I uh, don't know what we'll be doing, anything special or anything the same, or don't know. We'll talk about it amongst ourselves just before we go live and decide what's going to happen. Um, Tuesday, I have Nano. Thanks to Lynn, who's just come in the chat. Uh, I have a, a Nano dog to build. Um, I can reach it. Let me Let me grab it. Knocked out, hurt, pain. Knocking camera, moving it around, seasick. Um, yes, Lynn sent me a nano dog. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it is all nano blocks, nano brick bricks, but it's it's a huge box. Look at it, it's lovely. Um, so I shall be starting to build that. Probably not finishing building that because it's it's lots. It's like it's twenty one hundred pieces in there. So yeah, that's going to take a couple of weeks of building. I don't know exactly how things are going to go on with the Tuesday with being working and stuff. But uh, yeah, stick around and you'll find out how much of that we do on Tuesday. Wednesday, I am starting the new kit. I've got that here as well. Look. Almost like it was prepared. Uh, Wednesday, Wooden Wednesday, I'm starting the mono wheel, which looks to be another fun thing to build. Uh, Thursday, we're back again with the gang. Uh, Thursday night, evening with the gang. Just me and the gang and patrons hanging around, chatting, entertaining you for an hour and a half. And then Friday, bag two, or both of them, or all the bag twos. Any numbers that have got two written on the outside of the bags, I'll be opening them and putting them back together again. And that's next week. So there we go. Before we go, like up thumbs, says Skating Models. It's Dad, thank you very much. Uh, Team Manip t-shirt, cool I want. Yeah, limited edition. Uh, don't forget Thursdays too. <laughs> yeah, Lynn's got all the back shows to watch because she doesn't really watch them live very often. Uh, Lynn watches all. Uh, Dad, Chris, Fox, he watches shows. Don't forget Ted. Ted's got some live shows in his belt, under his belt as well now, so yeah. Uh, Nat says, thanks again, Chris. Thank you all for watching. That's the important thing. Uh, Lynn says, awesome show. What little I caught. Yeah, it came. You're welcome, Chris. It did, it did, I did thank you in the chat, but you might have missed it. But yes, it did. Thank you again, Lynn. Lynn. Lovely. Uh... Candy Graham says, thanks for supplying Chris with a Lego doggy model, Lynn. Absolutely. That was from my Amazon uh, wish list, which is available if you scroll back up through the chat or look in the description of the video when it's finished. You'll be able to find that and possibly send me some stuff and I might build it. Well, I will build it. Definitely build it, but I don't know when. But yes, uh, it's there for you. Someone has to keep Chris busy, says Lynn. Absolutely. Thank you very much. You keep me busy and uh, Candy Graham keeps me drinking while I'm doing it. So, yeah. Uh, right, so thank you everybody. Um, watch out later, there may be a surprise live from someone, says Skating Models. Keep an eye on your YouTubes. Like and subscribe all the channels that you like and subscribe to, and you'll find out what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Lynn says, sorry Ted, I watch your show too. <laughs> uh, Ted has a live stream set for later today. Uh, has, he, is it, has he got another one done then? He only did one like two days ago. He's, he's, he's caught the bug. He's caught the live stream bug. He'll be fighting for my time slot soon. You wait and see. Yes, so like and subscribe everybody, follow along, and we'll see you soon. Uh, another week till I'll do more of this, but there is more Nano stuff and Lego things. Lego Friday, Nano Tuesday at the moment, Wooden Wednesday, and chatting with the people on Thursday, emails on Monday, and proper plastic kits on Sunday. The week is all, f all fun for you, all, all here and everywhere else as well. So thank you all for watching, it's been great. I can't wait till next Friday to get back and do the next bit of that because I want it to. I want, I want to drive it around with the, th but not yet. I've got to wait. So, calm down, relax. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe. Wash your hands. If you're going out, socially distance. No hugs and stuff. Distance. Ghost hugs. But see you soon. Thank you all very much. I shall see you soon. Not tomorrow, but Sunday later. I'll see you in other live streams later on, no doubt as well. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.